What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRoads.net coming at you live from Las Vegas, Nevada. And as I do, usually I go live uh, doing junk drone related uh, videos. Today I have a flip through video for you guys of junk journal number 35, which I actually started live, um, I believe, like on Tuesday. I started this live. So today I'm just going to be doing the quick flip through video of uh, what's inside. Uh, the color is not really true on camera. It's more of a Pepto-Bismol type of pink and not so much as a peachy color like it shows on camera. I don't know why that happened. It might be my colors are off or something on my camera. But it's more of a, a Pepto-Bismol type of pink. So on the inside, I used my uh, quilting fabric that I made that I put together from bed sheets. Hello, Curly T. Welcome, girl. So that is what I did on the inside of the journal. Um, I reinforced the spine so that way it's not squishy like some other books. And, uh, yeah, I don't remember how many pages are in here, um, but it is already sold. I am going to be uh, putting up my other journals that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a whole collection of, like, vintage uh, books. Hi, CJ Christopher. Um, I'm going to be doing a whole collection of, like, vintage books. I'm terrified of Las Vegas at the moment. I hear the grasshoppers. Yeah, the grasshoppers are insane right now. They terrify me right now. They're crazy. They're all over the place. <sighs> but, yeah, <laughs> we're dealing. We're dealing with it. Um, but, yeah, I'm like I said, I am going to be selling the next. Um, I have for pre-order the next batch of journals that I'm going to be working on, which are all vintage books. So you can check that out in my shop if you're interested. This one's already sold, and the next one that I'm going to be working on is already sold as well. This one has a slight bee theme. Um, and uh, Hi, Rhonda. Welcome, girl. And all the um, printables are also from my store. I did design uh, some bee-themed ephemera as well as some bee-themed journal pages. I'm working on some more bee-themed things themed things <laughs> that was funny to say but i did put a lot of uh sewing in all of these little collages that i did there's a lot of sewing in this journal i made this awesome trim here with some bed sheets and some lace attached and um, that's what i used to decorate some of the pages uh thank you curly t i'm sorry that you're scared of grasshoppers they're they're a little frightening when they come in masses that's for sure <laughs> Anything that comes in a, in, in a large group is scary, if you ask me. Oh, and here's the... I love this page here. It comes from an old uh, botanical book that I love. And I've been enjoying using their awesome images. Hi, Angel. Welcome, girl. And here's a little mason jar for my shop as well. I used a lot of printables from my store. Um, I have these vintage botanical images in my store right now. I only have a couple sets of them. I decided that I couldn't use all of them. <laughs> I would never be able to use them all up, so I decided to sell them off in kits. I mean, in sets, because I can't scan them and sell them. They're from, like, the 70s. And I made all of these things live. I remember making this tag live ugh, in the beginning of the year. And then these uh, I just made recently live. Basically, I go live every day and do something different. And then it all comes into journals, and that's at the point that we're in. I have a bunch of ephemera and embellishments, and I'm making journals. That is a little cycle that we go through here on my channel, because I can't just keep all these embellishments everywhere. These are some awesome um, index cards that I, I remember making these live a while ago. It's just index card with some fabric here that I attached um, and did some really pretty stitching. Again, there's a slight bee theme to this journal. Honey for sale. This really cute journal tag for my set, for my ephemera set. And then this little tag that I also made a while ago. This was a this was a while ago now. I can't remember how long ago. But I have so much stuff still to use. Here's some more of that trim that I actually made from a strip of paper. I attached a piece of uh, fabric and then a piece of lace. Or I can't remember what order I did it. That's what I did to make that. I also made that live. I'll go ahead and link everything down below. But you can just check out my channel and you'll see all these videos. I go every day live Monday through Friday and I do something junk journal related. So if that's the type of thing that you're into, this is what I love as well. <laughs> I remember making this tag of a bunch of papers and then I kind of 
painted it with a little bit of white and some water just to make it a little translucent and i have these bingo pockets which i collaged on top of with the floral die cuts from my shop and the mini photos from my shop as well the little printable of the vocabulary words and then the bingo shop with the bingo cards which i'm actually also selling my store and i also actually have this as a printable so if you wanted to have some of these by for yourself i do have those in my shop now those are new i didn't think anybody would want them but hey people do and i'm so grateful and in here is this little uh file folder that i made from one of my uh, mini file folder printables as well as a bunch of scrap paper that I had in my um, scrap stack. <laughs> scrap stack, that's funny. And it's just a bunch of little papers in here. Basically, is a little mini junk journal on its own. But it's a little file folder, and it's cute, and that goes in there. I also, like I said, did a lot of um, uh, collaging, which everything, like I said, I do live, everything pretty much. Even these banners, I remember doing that a while ago, and I still have some left. So I figured I would um, do them here. And then this is some ephemera that is from my shop, the Vintage uh, Flower Photos. Hello, Eula. Welcome back, girl. And, uh, yeah, those are just, uh, I just glued them on to uh, paper. So that way you can write on the back of them. And this little pocket here. Um, these are the ephemera sets for my journals. I love to use all my printables in my journals. I basically design uh, my printables to go into my journals as I craft along and I get an idea like, oh, I would want that. I would want this. Here's a little tuck spot right here. And this is a journal card that was collaged on a while ago. And I decided to just include it in this journal here. Here's another one of those beautiful botanical images from that book, uh, from those encyclopedias that I have found and gone through. And this is an awesome pocket that I just made recently with another one of these index cards with the fabric on the top. These are two different fabrics. Everything's flowers with me, Dora, you know. <laughs> Everything is always floral themed with me. And here's a tuck spot right here for you to put something in, uh, which I also made on this side. To, uh, I just sewed a piece of paper there, so it's a tuck spot on both sides. Um, a little quote right here. Again, that trim that I've been making with my bed sheets and my lace, finally got to use it. I have so much of it, so I am ready to use it up in my junk journals. Here I have another one of these um, B journal cards for my ephemera set and one of my uh, children's photo sets that I actually printed on a photo, photo paper. Yes, girl, I'm trying. I am trying. <laughs> I'm trying to be a little bit more diverse with my stitches sometimes. Um, here's one of those journal pages with B, B themed. And this is a collage card that I made live. And I can't make these in a printable also because this is a copyright image. <laughs> so I am respectful of copyrights, <laughs> of copyrights, of course. And in here, I just have another one of these um, kind of cardstock pieces that I attach the fabric to and just a double side printed piece of ephemera that's on cardstock for you to write in but I also have one of my little journal cards here lined on the back so that way you can write in it and that's all going right here in this awesome popcorn bag that I got a long time ago <laughs> and then here's some journal cards oh here's a little uh, envelope that's in my shop as well. A little tiny envelope. And another journal card from the B uh, ephemera sets. Popcorn bag. I love popcorn bag. Here's uh, one of the images from that botanical book. But they also have uh, pictures of flowers. So I've been using those and signatures as well. And again, some more collaging, some more B pages some little die cuts we're collaging and then here's the back i did i used my really awesome 
uh, quilt fabric that I've been making that I've been obsessing over all these little hexagons. So I was really, really happy to be able to use them here in this journal. I love all the, <laughs> I have been obsessed with quilting. So I think I'm gonna use all my quilting fabric that I've been making on the inside of my journals because I just think that that looks so pretty. Um, of course I'll use it on the outside when appropriate. Um, so on Monday, I'm gonna go live and start on this Girl Scout handbook. Uh, since the person who purchased this book also purchased this book. So I'm going to work on her order, order next because why not? And um, again, keep following me. And I have about four other uh, vintage books that I'm going to be working on, of course, live here. So if you want to join me Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, that's usually what I am up to. So you can always expect a new video from me pretty much every single day. So if that's what you're into, do hit that subscribe button. And I thank everybody for watching my videos and supporting my art. I appreciate it. My shop is still 50% off. So if you want to check that out, the link will be down below. Thank you guys, everybody, so much for your support and for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.